Hello. In this video, we will be seeing how to enroll students using their mail IDs. By this method, student can enroll themselves by logging into our uh, Moodle account. Okay, I have created a uh, Moodle site fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com. Already, we have seen a method by using how to enroll student bulk addition of student using CSV file. That is the most uh, that is the best method, right? Because you can select the students which who you want to enroll. But by this method, the student themselves can enroll. Okay. So uh, once you uh, type this fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com, nomeo.com, I will get it to this page. Here you can see in the right side, it's not logged in. So try to log in. It is asking admin and password, right? Password will, will be in your mail. So you can just copy and paste it. Now you are logged into the course. Okay. Right. As an admin, I am into the course now. Now to enable the students, I have to go into site administration. In site administration and in site administration, there will be plugins, right? In plugins, you scroll down. There are so many things you can explore. Here you can see authentication. See, this authentication is very important because it decides what, what sort of students or what type of students can enroll, right? Whether the students can enroll themselves by email based self registration, right? So, in authentication, I'll go into manage authentication. Okay, in manage authentication, you can see already using the Excel file, the CSV file, I have enrolled seven students, right? Now, I'm going to enroll using email based self registration. Okay. So you can see email based self registration if you scroll down generally see i have done this process already so it is uh, now see as soon as you come here it will be disabled right now to try to enable it you will just click this and you email based self registration okay it is permitted and you can read these statements but this is not a correct method uh, best method because spammers what they will do they can easily get into your course they can register using so many mail ids right okay so uh, we don't do these things, these things, but in controlled environment, once we know those students, we can permit them to use this self-registration. Okay, so assume there are only uh, 30, 40 students in a lab, we can make them to sit and we can allow them to self-register. Okay, this is the step to uh, enable them to self-register, right? So I go into plugins, in plugins, I scroll down in self-registration, I, I, I set it to, it will be in default, act, disable mode actually. Now we'll select email based self registration. Scroll down. Okay, here some instructions will be coming, right? I can say welcome to self registration. This will be displayed, right? So student can get some idea. Welcome to self registration using mail IDs. Okay. Say changes. Now, once I did this, I can log out now. I can log out, right? Now it will be in the page fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com. Now try to log in. Once you try to log in, before we had only admin and password, right? If I enter the password, I will go into an administrator. Okay. Now, when the students, is this the first time you are here? I have uh, that sentence is coming, which I have typed before. Welcome to self registration using mail IDs. So go into create account. In the create account, students will be doing these steps, right? Okay, until the let's see, uh, well, enabling is up to the faculty, right? Is this the first time you are here? The students will, anyone can come access these sections, right? If you are entering the password, you will go into the administration section or the faculty section. Students will be coming into this section and they will be saying create new account. Okay, now we have to enter the username, password, the students will be entering their username, password and email addresses, right? Let me fill it up. Okay, I have given the student details and, uh, uh, and his mail ID and I have to ensure it's not a robot, create my new account. Once I do this, a mail, um, the info, um, see, the email has been sent to the mail address, Mahalakshmi Devoram. Uh, okay, continue. Right now, a student has created a login account. So I going into the student account. You can see the student has received a mail from the channel Fundamentals Learner. Okay, it is saying that to confirm your new account, please go to this web address. 
now you click it okay your registration has been confirmed now the student has registered for the course not registered I mean I registered under the website right I have to enroll them to the course okay student can see his uh, username right Mahamani and uh, see he or she can edit his profile edit his or her profile okay now they can log out right now I will log in as a faculty right so if I use admin and password I will be working as a faculty right students will be using this section to enable this section only we went into plugins and we enabled email based self registration okay once I do that only I will get this options right but we will not be using these options quite frequently because spamming spamming people will use this and they will create so many accounts right and they will enroll in our course and make our course very difficult but in controlled controlled environment i can enable this right i can have this option now if you want to, another student is want to enroll so he or she can type his username password and he will create a he or she will create his account like that a class is having 60 students means all 60 students can sit in laboratory log into our fundamentals learner .com, and they can go into login page instead of they can accessing this section they will access this section okay okay so 60 students will be enrolled to our course now as a faculty i'll go into the administration section under admin i have typed the password i'm going to login i'm going to login so you can see go to site home I can see my course control systems so click that course this is the course I have created here I can see participants okay so there will be a gear box I mean gear icon here right look at the gear icon under participants gear icon is for control right you click it enrollment methods in enrollment methods you can see what are the options you have you have manual enrollment I have enrolled three students already using CSV file this is manual enrollment now we are at self enrollment in self enrollment as you can see the I symbol I symbol with a slash mark without slash mark it is enabled right okay but you can see this is dark black and this is somewhat a faded black right so I have to make click this I symbol then it will be enabled right I am enabling that so here I can go into that edit okay once the student has uh, uh, logged in and accepted the mail then uh, what you have to do is you have to log into our admin uh, you have to log into our admin and launch you log into our admin uh, we will be entering into our uh, repeat these steps again I'm going to log out as an admin right okay so fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com right this is where we are here now we are going to log in right students will use this section to create a new account right okay already i have created and uh, i have enabled two students account using this sanjay and maha two students i have added and uh, created an account using this option this is where a faculty can uh, uh, can edit the content can permit uh, can ask I mean uh, can control the Moodle site okay so I'm going to enter into admin password I'll take it from here okay paste the password and login right go into site home Here you can see the available courses control system. This is what I create. I have created. Once I enter into control system, I can uh, get this symbol CS and CS. Okay. Below that there will be participants. Right. This is how we uh, this is how we enrolled even the uh, CSV file also we enrolled by this method only. Okay. Right. Participants, and you can see here enroll users. Enroll users and it is asking search right among the students who have created Sanjay N and Mahamani these two 
the students i have accepted and what role i am assigning to them i am assigning students and i am enrolling okay now you can see what are the who are the total students enrolled go to the again this icon gear icon go into enrollment methods right so already there were uh, uh, three students were enrolled now i have added uh, two more students i can see who are them and keep clicking this you can see yesterday i enrolled uh, Abu Dhabi student one and Navin Murthy. Now I have enrolled Mahamani and Sanjay. Okay, this is the procedure, right? So I am going to log out. If some other students are willing to enter the register for the course, what they can do? They can simply type fundamentalslearner.nomeo.com, go into login, and create a new account. In create a new account, they have to give their username, password. and their email addresses and they have to create my account a link will be sent to their mail student account the student should accept that link then their name will be coming to the course section okay so if 60 students are repeating this process what i can do then i can go into my course by entering the admin and password and i'll go into the site home in site i will be selecting the course right there can be so many courses but only one course i have created this control system here participants in participants i'll go to enroll users right if 60 students are there i can see 60 students name will be listed okay so those many students i can enroll and i can assign their students okay this is another way of enrolling so two ways i have given an explanation how to enroll one is in another video i have explained how to ex how to enroll using csv file that is bulk enrollment that is the best method because you can decide who can who you can enroll but by this method uh, by the second method you have to enable auto enrollment right self enrollment for that you have to go to site administration you go to site administration and you have to go into plugins in plugins scroll it down you can see authentication you can see authentication manage self authentication in this you have to be in let's call it down you have to enable this right email based normally it will be disabled right you have to enable this once you enable only students can enroll okay so this is an important step these things you can do only as an admin account only you can do these things okay right save changes right thanks for listening